Mastering phrasal verbs. Framing questions like a pro. Hello there. Welcome to another exciting video in our intermediate grammar series. Today, we are going to dive deep into phrasal verbs, focusing on how to form questions with them. So, if you have ever been confused about how to ask a question using a phrasal verb, don't worry, you're not alone. But after this video, you'll be asking questions with phrasal verbs like a native speaker. Let's start by quickly recapping what a phrasal verb is. A phrasal verb is a verb that is combined with an adverb or preposition. The resulting combination creates a meaning that is often different than the original verb. For example, give up means to quit, which is different from the verb give. Now, let's move on to the crux of this video, forming questions with phrasal verbs. The general rule is to use the auxiliary verb, do, does, did, at the beginning of the question, followed by the subject, and then the phrasal verb, separated. For example, you are putting on your jacket, becomes, are you putting on your jacket? He gives up easily, becomes, does he give up easily? However, if the sentence is in a continuous tense, you'd use the auxiliary verb to be, am, is, are, was, were, like in the first example above. Let's take a look at how to form questions with phrasal verbs in different tenses. Present simple, do, does plus subject plus phrasal verb, base form. Example, does he look after his younger brother? Past simple, did, plus subject plus phrasal verb, base form. Example, did you run out of sugar? Present continuous, is, are, plus subject plus phrasal verb, ing form. Example, are they getting along well? Past continuous, was, were, plus subject plus phrasal verb, ing form. Example, were you looking forward to the party? It's important to remember that the particle, the preposition or adverb in the phrasal verb, cannot be separated from the verb when forming questions. A common mistake is to put the particle at the end of the sentence. For example, what are you looking forward for, is incorrect. The correct question is, what are you looking forward to? That's it for this video. We've learned what a phrasal verb is, how to form questions with phrasal verbs in different tenses, and some common mistakes to avoid. With some practice, you'll be forming questions with phrasal verbs with ease. Remember, practice is key to mastering any language skill. Keep working on it and you'll definitely see progress. See you in our next video. Happy learning!